Okay, today we're going to talk about adjusting your feed rates. Uh, the percentage is according to the pounds per hour that you burn. Now, a lot of you have uh, said, hey, you know, my stove's coming in, uh, I'm setting it at uh, uh, five pounds per hour, but I'm burning more than five pounds per hour. This is because your default setting in your stove comes set for corn. And we're going to show you how to change that. Uh, one of our viewers, uh, Sean, had uh, dug into uh, how to adjust these settings and kind of figured it out. And we're going to share that with you today. Uh, the first thing you need to do is to clean your furnace out and make sure your ash pan is empty. You need to pull your agitator, your burn pot extension if you've got it, and the burn pot. Open up your dampener down at the bottom all the way. Because what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to run your furnace without a fire in it. Collect the amount of fuel coming out of there. You're going to weigh that fuel and it will tell you exactly what you're burning to where your feed rates are set. So after you get your pellet furnace cleaned, get the, get the burn pot out of it and get your dampener door open all the way. Make sure your ash pan is installed and I'm going to show you now how to set your, uh, your seat props for it. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to set your uh, C settings to uh, set the stove up to where you can run fuel through it without a fire. So first thing you need to do is you need to come down here and you need to push your mode and your auger delay simultaneously and that brings you into your C settings. Now, uh, the factory default on this, we're going to want to go to C8, push the on button. See here, I got this set at 200. This stove's already set up. Your stove originally comes programmed at 120. Now that's the default for corn. This is a percentage of fuel rate compensation is what this is. You're going to want to move your setting from 120 up to 200. Now this is not going to get you exactly where you need to be, but it's going to be awful close. Set your C8, you got that set, on 200. Now I want you to go to C10. What this is, is it's a uh, uh, detecting warm-up setting. Now <clears throat> this comes set at a default of uh, 30. You need to set this at 60 and what that's going to do is it's going to give you 60 minutes uh, shutdown on a warm-up. Once again, it's, I've, got, I've got this here previously set at 60. Yours should be at 30. That's your default. Bring this up to 60 and hit on and then you can hit off. Now you are ready to check your uh, uh, fuel rate. And all you got to do is just push on. Now this is set, that's set at Two, I'm on thermostat operation, so you can disregard that. That's not a that's not an issue, and it will continue to run like this. You've got a four minute delay before your auger starts running. So you're going to wait the four minutes. Your furnace at that point will start. Your auger will start turning, and you will start dumping pellets or cherry pits or whatever you're burning down into your ash pan. That's going to run like that for 54 minutes. At the end of 54 minutes, your furnace is going to shut down. At that point, you can pull your ash pan out, pour your fuel that was dumped into the ash pan into a uh, container of some sort and weigh it. That will give you how much fuel you're burning at the particular feed rate setting that you have, whether you have it selected on one or five, uh, that, that, is, that is what you're going to want to do. Set it on one or five when you start it up and it will tell you what you're burning at that feed rate setting. I would not go on an intermediate setting, set your fuel rate at one or set your fuel rate at five and you can check it like that. Now once you weigh your, your fuel, 
you're only going to have 54 minutes of burning in there. The way you can compensate that is take the pounds that you have in that ash pan. Let's say you have four pounds. If you divide that number, four, by 0.933, that will give you one hour or 60 minutes worth of burning. And that will tell you how much fuel you're burning at that fuel rate setting uh, on the test. Uh, yeah, at that point, you can change your, with these settings, you can change, and we'll click this off, and we'll go back in. <clears throat> and we'll go back into, first off, we'll go uh, to uh, C10, because you're going to want to change that back now to 30. And that will get you back to your standard default setting is 30. Uh, push on and you're going to leave your your uh, C8 uh, uh, setting at 200. Now I found at 200 uh, I'm burning actually about 95 percent of what my number five setting is and 95 percent of what the number one setting is. Anywhere in between there the unit is going to float. So uh, that's how you adjust your your feed rates uh, to correspond with your hours per burn. This is the best we can get. It doesn't get any closer than that. Uh, good luck and happy pellet burning.